So work continues on the altimeter bay here. So I've got this switch in there mounted and the, it's drying. And so now I can access it through that hole. So that'll be the switch hole. I'm gonna get some white paint, maybe touch that up a little bit. But So there's that. <clears throat> we have these terminal strips. And so what we do is, what, what I do is, I'm going to screw that onto this bulkhead here. The wires will come, be hooked up there, run through that hole. <clears throat> and from there, they'll go onto the uh, <clears throat> connections here on, on the uh, altimeter. So there's the drogue connections and the main, the main chute connection. So <clears throat> the forward one will be the main. The main parachute is in the forward compartment. The drug parachute is in the rear compartment. So now we kind of have to get um, places so those we can hook those up to the actual charges. So that's what these are. So we'll run the wire through this hole and hook it up to this. And then when we get ready to hook up our uh, ejection charge, we'll hook them up up, up there. So let me uh, kind of get this set up. I've got a couple of little screws here. I'm going to drill some holes and mount these onto each end, each bulkhead. And then we'll figure out how we do, we're going to do the wires. So let me get the terminal strips mounted and I will get. So I need a couple of wires to run to that, to the rear drogue firewall. So I've got the board there on the all threads. This will be the rear. And there's the terminal strip mounted. So through this hole, I'm going to run wires and hit connect it to the drogue. So this will all kind of stay together, and this will be inserted into the uh, the coupling, the electronics bay. So it'll be a little bit different to figure out how we're going to get hook up the main, because that's probably going to be a longer wire that will have a disconnect. Um, but for right now, I need a, a set of wires there. So to kind of make a nice, neat, wrapped, twisted pair, I've got some hookup wire here and it it is 22 gauge wire hookup wire stranded hookup wire so anyhow to make this into a nice neat run of wire okay I got it so all you do is just hold the end of the wire Let it do its thing. So there's a nice, neat, twisted pair of wire. So now let's see if we can get this to go. I have to enlarge that hole. Yep, we are. Perfect. So this is the drogue. So it will go right over here and hook up to these terminals. So let's cut right about there.
For this, I need my little bitty screwdriver. Where did I put it? Here it is. You get a pretty good collection of little screwdrivers. So I just look so I can barely see some of the wire. So there's that. And if we feel the need, we can, you know, tie that down with some small uh, zip ties. So there's that. So there's the connection for that drogue, the rear. Now we need to figure out what we're going to do on the, the forward. But I don't want to mess with it too much. That glue is still kind of wet. So I may wait till that switch mount plate is uh, completely dry. But the idea is that we'll place this in here in a way that it's clearing all of that. You can hook up the switch. Once we've inserted it, then we will figure out how we want to wire that. That's not going to be a very long wire, though. I already have some, some made up here from previous previous rocket wiring. So right now, let's just wait for that to, that to dry. I don't want to knock that and knock it loose and just go ahead and let it dry. So while we wait for the, uh, the glue to dry on that switch mount, I'm going to show you kind of what I do here. So I've got some of this blue poster tack, sticky tack stuff. And it's actually pretty tight in that hole, but you still want to seal that off. Because when the ejection charge goes off, you don't want ejection charge residue going inside your electronics bay. So what I do is I get some of this, kind of warm it up, get it pliable in my fingers. And I'm going to try and just seal off this hole as best as I, best I can. And actually what we can do here is we can go ahead and just cover up these connections. Keep residue out of that. Cover up the wires. And even on the inside of this, I'm gonna make a little snake of that goop and run it around here. There you go. We'll do the other end when we get ready to put it together. But for now, I think we're just waiting for the glue to dry on that switch mount. Yeah, I think the electronics bay is all ready to go. So, can show you how it's laid out here. The drogue wires going back to the the rear, the aft end, sealed up. I've made a match mark here so that when I put it in the tube, I know which orientation I want it to be in. This is the connection to the forward bulkhead, the main uh, parachute charge. So the way it symboled it is match mark. Here's the match mark. So first is we'll hook up the battery connector. Feed it through. Match up that end. And you can see how I've got the, uh, the switch bracket on the bottom side there. And you'll bring this plate in. 
hook that up. These are the, the connectors um, that you get from Doghouse Rocketry. Binder design. Then you just kind of find a way to kind of stuff it all in there. And our washers. No wing nuts. And there it is. Let's move the camera back so you can kind of see how it all goes in the rocket. graphics to match up. So what we have here, we've got the, uh, the shear pins. Uh, where did I lay those down at? We've got more in the baggie. Here they are, stuck to a piece of tape. So if everything's lined up, the shear pin should go right in. And it is. We'll pretend we put in the other one. <clears throat> the forward section actually gets riveted in. I've painted those rivets white, so I'm waiting for those to dry. That goes in like that. So now, this is the hole that has the um, screw switch. I did add some other extra holes here in the instructions for the RRC3. It talks about vent holes, allow altimeter to sample air pressure, three hole examples. So they're recommending for a four inch tube with a 12 inch section, which this is like eight or nine inch long, but three, three sixteenth inch holes. So I did put a, a couple extra holes just to make sure that this altimeter is able to read, you know, the atmospheric pressure. So when we have the thing on the rod, the, the rail guides are right here. So I ought to be able to get my little ball and allen wrench and turn it on so hopefully you guys can hear that it's got the long beep so it's kind of hard to hear with the fan going the shop's kind of warm today so i got the fan going So that is that. Now I will want to uh, put a fresh battery in it and secure it better with uh, with new uh, zip ties. But that is the altimeter bay.